Hello, everybody, and welcome to yoga at the YMCA. Uh, my name is John, and I teach uh, yoga classes here as well as at uh, a local correctional facility. And joining me today is another instructor here. You may know her, Sharon, and she's going to be joining the class with us today. This will be a, a beginner yoga class suitable for beginners. Uh, we're going to do a nice, gentle class uh, to these are tough times, I know, and everybody's cooped in, so we're going to try to do a lot of floor exercises that will open up the body. Uh, we will be on the mat, and uh, it is suitable for all levels. So we'll begin the class, first of all, by centering ourselves. We start out in what's called the easy seated position. For me, that's my legs crossed. Uh, you can have your legs uncrossed if you like, whatever's comfortable for you. You can also fold up the edge of your mat if you're using a mat and sit on the mat to elevate yourself or put a cushion underneath. Hands will be draped over our knees. We'll sit nice and tall with our chin slightly tucked, shoulders down and back and relaxed. And begin to start focusing on the breath. You're welcome to close your eyes. And to begin by centering, we start taking note of our position on our yoga mat, becoming aware of where our body touches the mat or touches the floor. Breathing in yoga is done almost exclusively in and out of the nose. So just a normal breath for now, inhaling through the nose, smoothly exhaling through the nose, beginning to bring yourself to the present moment, allowing any thoughts that come in to maybe acknowledge them and let them go as we focus on our class and restoring our body. And if you would like, go ahead and set an intention for today's class. Maybe it's for yourself to gain a little bit of relief from sore muscles or tightness from sitting a lot during the day. Uh, maybe it's some stress relief, or maybe you want to dedicate the class to someone else. And then we'll gently open our eyes and begin with a breathing exercise, a version of the three-part breath. Go ahead and bring your right hand to your lower abdomen. Inhaling through the nose, allow the belly to inflate, starting at the bottom of the belly, going all the way through the top. And then exhale, reverse. Let the belly sink, the navel come into the spine as you expel all of the oxygen through the nose. Begin inhaling once again, deep into the belly, all the way up to the top. The belly expands, hold for a second at the top, and then slowly and smoothly exhale through the nose, expelling all the air, drawing the navel in toward the spine. Now bring your left hand to your ribs, Begin inhaling once again, deep into the lower belly. Up through the rib cage, the rib cage expands. Hold for a second and exhale. Rib cage contracts, the belly begins to deflate. The navel comes in toward the spine. Hold at the bottom and inhale again, deep into the belly. The belly rises, the intercostal muscles, the muscles between the ribs expand, and we bring the breath all the way up into the rib cage. Hold for a second and exhale. The navel eventually contracts all the way to the spine. Now bring a hand to the chest, one hand stays on the rib cage. Inhale deep into the belly 
upper belly, rib cage expands into the lungs, all the way up to the collarbone. Our entire upper torso is filled with fresh air. Hold for a second at the top, exhale and reverse. The chest begins to lower. As we exhale through the nose, the rib cage contracts, the belly lowers, the navel comes into the spine as we push out all of the air. Hold for a second at the bottom, and then begin your inhale again, deep into the belly. The cage expands, lower lungs begin to inflate, upper lungs all the way to the collarbone, and then exhale. Ribs begin to deflate, belly begins to lower. As we expel all the air out, bringing the navel into the spine. And then release your hands over your legs and return to your normal breath. Our first warm up asanas, we're going to inhale both arms up overhead. Exhale the right arm down by your side as you extend the left arm over to the right side for a side stretch. Make sure you stay with your breath as we do these poses. Again, inhaling smoothly through the nose, exhaling through the nose. Inhale back to center, bringing the right arm back up. Reaching tall, exhale the left arm down by your side as you extend the right arm over to the left side. All these poses should feel good and be comfortable to you. In yoga, we have no pain. If anything hurts, don't do it. Inhale back to center. Reach tall so we lengthen our, our torso. And then we're going to come into a twist by exhaling, twisting to the right, beginning at the base of the spine, bringing the right hand behind us and the left hand over the right leg. Seated twist to the right. You can look over your right shoulder if that doesn't bother your neck. Important thing here is to keep a nice, long, straight torso. We don't want to slump into any twist. Inhale, back to center, reaching tall. Arms come up toward the ceiling, lengthen through the torso. Exhale, start to twist toward the left side. Now bringing the left arm and the hand behind your back. The right hand and arm come over the upper left leg. And if it's comfortable for your neck, you can look over your left shoulder. At any time, if you want to deepen a twist, Simply take a nice inhale and then starting at the base of the spine, twist by working your way up. Inhale back center, reaching the arms tall. Exhale, slowly lower the arms down by our sides. So with the arms now draped, hands draped over the knees, we're going to come into seated cat-cow. This is a nice warm-up pose that you'll find some version of it in almost every yoga class. It uh, lengthens and lengthens the entire spine. To begin, we're going to inhale, lifting our chest up and out toward the ceiling, letting our head go back so that our gaze is up at the ceiling. Our tailbone or glutes are reaching to the wall behind us. As our chest comes forward and up toward the ceiling, shoulders roll back. This is the cow position. Begin exhaling. Start to arch the upper back to the wall behind you. As you begin to tuck the chin toward the chest, tuck the tailbone up into the hips to track the belly. So we have a nice rounded spine in the opposite direction. This is the angry cat position. Inhale, 
begin to lift up with the heart or the chest toward the ceiling, coming out, gaze goes up. Don't let your head fall all the way to your back, but take your crown of your head toward the wall behind you, lift, roll the shoulders back, then start to your exhale, arching the upper back, forward, chin tucking toward the chest, hips, belly contracting. Inhaling up and out. Lift with the heart. Cat position, arching the upper back. Tucking the chin toward the chest. Tailbone in toward the hips. Inhaling, rising up, lifting the chest. Let's do three more repetitions of cat and cow. center position is very good. So that helps waking up. Helps counter the effects of sitting all day. Poses we'll do are borrowed from the exercise. So we're going to bring our hands together in a prayer position in front of us. Squeeze the hands against one another. Squeeze the forearms. Our upper arms are parallel with the floor. So our arms are making the right angle. As you squeeze your hands together, inhale them together toward the ceiling. Exhale, lower them. This is a very small movement. Inhale toward the ceiling. Exhale and lower. Inhale toward the ceiling. Exhale and lower. Inhale them together toward the ceiling. We're really pressing them into each other. Exhale and lower. More time, inhale toward the ceiling. Exhale, lower and release back over the knees. That asana works the neck and upper back. Asana is the yoga for, for a pose. So the next one, we'll bring our forearms stacked one on top of the other in front of us. Our palms are facing out. I refer to this one as opening the iron curtain. So you're going to imagine there's a heavy iron curtain in front of you. Grab that curtain and as you exhale, start to with resistance, pull that curtain open as your elbows come behind your back and you squeeze your upper back together. Inhale, reverse how you stack your arms. Again, the palms are facing out. Grab that curtain and really pull it open. Inhale, come forward, reverse the stack of the arms again. Exhale, pull that heavy iron curtain open. Inhale, reverse the stack of the arms. Exhale, pull that curtain open. Hold here, squeeze the upper back. Squeeze a little more. Exhale and then release the hands. Let them drape over your knees. So sit tall once again. Shoulders down and back. Your chin is slightly tucked to elevate the crown of your head. And then we're simply going to inhale our shoulders high up toward the ears. Exhale, roll them down and back, shoulder shrugs. Inhale them up toward the ears. Exhale, roll down and back. Inhale up toward the ears. Exhale and roll down and back. Again, sitting nice and tall, some gentle Neck rolls, we'll begin by exhaling, lowering our chin gently toward our chest. Keeping your shoulders down. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, trace that left collarbone with your chin until you bring your left ear over your left shoulder. Inhale, trace that collarbone, keeping the head down back to the middle. And then exhale, tracing along the right side of the collarbone until you bring your right ear over your right shoulder. 
Inhale, trace to the center. Exhale, left side. Inhale, coming back to the middle. Exhale, last time over to the right side. Inhale, coming back to the middle. Exhale, gently lift the head back up. Sitting tall once again, relaxing our shoulders down and back. And begin to inhale the arms up overhead, bringing the hands together in prayer position, and exhaling, lowering your hands to heart center. And we end our yoga class today with the traditional greeting of Namaste, meaning the light in me recognizes the light in you. Thank you for practicing with us today. Thank you for being here, Sharon, and Namaste, everyone. Namaste. Namaste.